What's going on with all my money motivated stars? Now this video is gonna be a little interesting, you know what I mean? To some of those out here who find information that I put out weird, you know? Like I see, I know people who watch my videos, there's nothing really I can say to y'all that's gonna be weird. It's gonna be like, okay, we all, then they're on their vibration anyway, even if you're not using the products I use or certain, certain type of things, you know what I mean? So when it comes down to this, I'm making a video on this because I was talking to a female friend of mine and she was talking about, have you ever heard of people uh, putting lemon under their arms for deodorant? And I was like, yeah, I do that. And she was like, why you didn't tell me? And I was like, basically, there ain't nothing you just really tell nobody, you know, especially because the people who I know, they know what type of vibration I'm on, but I don't go around just spreading information due to the simple fact. I know that everybody who I know is not highly spiritual, highly conscious like me, and they try certain things that I try. So when she said that, I was like, yeah, I ain't you know, I've been doing it, but I don't just go out spreading the information. You know what I mean? Like I come to y'all with information because I know y'all equipped to handle it. You know, even if it is on the internet and people who ain't equipped to handle it, view it, you know, it don't matter as long as y'all seeing it. So in my day to day life, I tell people who I know can receive the information and, and I don't, cause I don't want to hear all that. Oh, you do this? I don't really have time to explain because if I know the person I'm explaining to still not going to accept the information, I just did a bunch of explaining for nothing. You know what I mean? So I already come to the end there and explain it to y'all while I do, while I do that, you know, cause before I made this video, I looked, I looked up who was doing it on YouTube and I looked up, you know what I mean? A guy, responding to a post of a dude using deodorant. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell y'all why I do it. But the dude on the post, he was, I think he was a funny dude. He was basically making the fun of the dude saying, <laughs> cause the post said using chemical based deodorant while we got lemons out here is crazy. You know what I mean? I feel the same way, you know what I'm saying? So the comedian got on the post and he was like, basically saying like, I, I get the concept, you know what I mean? But he was like, I got 40 years worth of, <laughs> worth of must under my armpits. I cannot just use deodorant, you know what I mean? He was like, also, I don't want to have cancer, but I still ain't finna use just a lemon, you know what I mean? Because obviously the comedian knows that these deodorants out here, you know what I'm saying, causing cancer. I didn't make reports on the deodorant causing cancer. With all these, I, I can name three uh, cancer causing chemicals that they have in deodorant. Majority of the ones people use, degree and all that, aluminum, lead, uh, fluoride. They got other uh, chemicals in the deodorant that cause, it's like deodorant does a lot. You know what I mean? Especially if you put too much on. Like when I was young, I used to put too much on. You know what I'm saying? Trying to just like stay fresh, thinking I'm just, this is just keeping me fresh and it ain't no harm with this. And I have a lump all under my armpits. You know what I mean? And they be like, you put too much deodorant on. And I was like, it shouldn't be a such thing as putting too much deodorant on if this is good for us. You know what I mean? Just me thinking at a young a young age, but I just thought I just held back and I made sure I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Cause your armpits will get sore. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to it, I I do it because the first time I tried it, it worked, you know what I mean? Cause like all you gotta do, cause I I get out the shower, then I do it. You know what I mean? I never do it before like when I'm not like getting in the shower or whatnot, you know what I mean? So I get out of the shower, squeeze it under, and then the whole day, I'll be checking myself to make sure it ain't wore off. And the whole time, I smell like lemon, you know what I mean? I know this thing sounds crazy, and a lot of people be on the internet like, oh, these spiritual folk, conscious folks taking it too far. No, these people who trying to kill your ass and give you cancer for taking it too far, and you letting them, you know what I mean? That's crazy because I know we living in an abnormal world, well, eating natural is unnatural now. You know what I mean? Eating processed food is natural. But I told people before, if you cannot eat what you putting on your body, you should not be putting it on your body. I know that sounds strange to people, but these lotions, shampoos, soaps, you cannot eat those. Those are chemical based. And they say even on the bottles, if you get this in your eyes, go see a doctor. That's how chemically infused they are, but people still think, well, I'm gonna put myself on, put myself on. I understand it because a lot of people's body, though I say you had to cleanse your body, it's a whole process. You know what I mean? A lot of people's body just can't stand the, the natural products. You know what I mean? 
Cause a lot of people say, uh, cause even in in the video that the guy the guy was saying, like, I already use natural deodorant, you know what I mean? But cause I know people I'm gonna answer a lot of people question now, you know what I mean? the ones in the background who just said, you know what I'm saying, why don't you use just natural product? It's still natural deodorant without 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 all those chemicals, you know what I mean? But even with the natural deodorants, you still can't eat them. It's just my this is what I stand on. I'm, I'm firm on if I cannot eat the product I'm putting on my body, I don't want the product. And I'm strong on it, and I don't, I don't see why people don't be strong in it because the soaps and shampoos you putting on there, yeah, you, you probably back in your mind, I would never eat this. That's a logical thinking, right? But you're eating it anyway. The shampoo, soaps, you, it's getting to your bloodstream. I, people don't know how their body works, so it's confusing to them. Like when you get in the hot shower, your pores open up. So when your pores open up, this is an organ, it's the lar largest organ on your body. So when they open up, this soap, these chemicals, they get into your bloodstream. That's why they have the water so toxic because if you don't have a filter on your water in your shower, that all that fluoride, lead, aluminum for the water, from the water and more chemicals that's added to the water, that's getting your, to your bloodstream also. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to it, if you was if you wouldn't drink the shampoo, because I know a lot of women gonna like, he crazy. I, ain't even, I just bought some bath and body works. I'm, I just paid about $34 for this. I understand it. Get your money to work. You know what I'm saying? But when it run out, just try an alternative if you care about your body. You know what I'm saying? See, a lot of people don't care about their body. So whatever I'm saying to them is not, they, they ain't trying to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? I understand it. And I ain't like, I'm just, I'm saying it in the most nicest possible way. You have to care about yourself out here, man. You have to know that you're putting chemicals on your on your body. You know what I mean? That's why, like I said, on the label, it reads, if you get this in your eyes, go to see a doctor. You know what I mean? People don't believe in making natural face masks like avocados. You know what I'm saying? Put it, whipping up an avocado face mask and putting it on your uh, face. And if they get in your eye, nothing's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You can even take it off your face and eat it. That's how it's supposed to be. You don't supposed to be putting nothing on your body that you cannot eat. That's why I'm supposed to go to spas and stuff like that. Well, they put natural, they put cucumbers on your eyes. You know what I mean? You can take them cucumbers off and eat them. That's what you're supposed to be able to do. Whatever you put on your body is what your body is getting to your bloodstream. You're still consuming it in the form, just not the form through mouth. You know what I mean? It's like I, when people take baths and they don't have a filter on their shower. Like, if you're in that tub for like 30 minutes or more, you're gonna see your fingers absorbing the water for how long you've been sitting in there. So you don't think the, the, the lotion is absorbing in your bloodstream, but a lot of people can't feel the toxicity of these chemicals because we've been chemicalized all our life. That's why you're not gonna feel it. But like me, I didn't clean my body out so weird. I'm feeling these things, you know, I feel a lot more in tune with my body. So a lot of people are not in tune with their body. They think they feel fresher when they put these scents on because the chemicals are not being outweighed by the scents. You know what I mean? People are so mesmerized by the scents that's coming out. You know what I mean? They have to make these scents strong so you won't recognize the chemicals. You know what I mean? That's why a lot of people have skin issues and rashes and they don't even know because they put a lot of this chemical-based products on their body. You know what I mean? And like I said, you can try to put the lemon on there. If it don't work, you know what I mean? Maybe you need more help with cleaning out your gut. You know what I mean? Because... I'm a person who doesn't get musty like that due to my healthy living. Now, when I was, I never been a big person, but even when I was uh, in the past, when I was probably, let me say 20 pounds, I had 10 to 15 more pounds on me. We used to get very, very musty. You know what I mean? Because I ate a lot of dairy. I used to love cheese and all that. You know what I mean? So, no cheese, all that. When that right, you know, that's that's another story for another video. You know what I mean? But when it comes down to it, that is why I put the uh lemon under my arms. You can use lemon or lime, or you can make your own concoction. As long as it's a natural concoction, because a woman, I seen another video of a woman saying it, and then she had a clip where a doctor saying it's unhealthy to put lemon on your body, because uh when, the, when you go out into the sun, your armpits, it can cause a rash and all that. I trust a lemon before I trust a, a product within the 25 uh, chemicals in there. You like it's just it's just putting your common sense to what they're telling you. You know what I mean? They gonna say it's side effects to everything. Cause a lot of people, when I tell them about this, 
They would rather go look up the side effects of putting lemon under your arm and lime under your arm than looking up the side effects to their favorite popular deodorant, red old spice and degree. You know what I mean? People, are, <laughs> it's like when you telling somebody to do something natural, that's when they take the proper time to go do the research on it and the side effects on it, then the side effects on what they already been using. You know what I mean? Just like Dick, Greg, Dick Gregory said in the past. He was like, when he started fasting and started eating healthy, and this is what's going on in my life. When he started fasting, people was like, you okay? You uh, <laughs> asking, asking him, was he, was he fine? Did he do a proper research before he started doing all these fasts? But he was like, when I was drinking and uh, when I was drinking, nobody asked me, was I fine? Was I okay? Did I need to go see a check with a doctor? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's true. A lot of people don't ask you, did you go check with a doctor when you popping pills and when you drinking uh liquor they don't say go see uh, a doctor before you put this alcohol in your body it's poison in your body but they'll say go see a doctor before you start fasting and before you start switching over your lifestyle to a vegan or a raw plant-based diet they'll ask you to go see a doctor then you know what i mean it's just this is we living in the backwards world so people gotta understand people are thinking backwards but if you are you ready you know what i'm saying are you ready to feel normal too many people in this world, 90%, 95% of these people in this world can't say they've actually felt normal. You probably think you felt normal before, but if you haven't ate natural, you haven't used natural products, you haven't did the natural things that goes along with your biology, then you have not felt normal. You know what I mean? I'm six years into my journey and I'm just now feeling normal. This stuff is not going to happen overnight. You been I started at 26, so I got to really, I had to take into consideration that I've been poisoning my body for 26 years. You know what I'm saying? So I knew this wasn't going to happen overnight. And it's years later, and I'm, I'm just not starting to feel normal and enjoy my life more. You know what I mean? On a mental level. And just to realize how many years in the future that I'm going to feel greater than this. You know what I mean? Cause it's a it's a non-stop thing of evolution because you got to counteract all those 26 years or what however you if you 40 50 it's never too late you're gonna start feeling younger you might be you might be 50 right now and if you start your journey today the next 10 years you probably feel 45 you're gonna knock down some age knock down some wrinkles because a lot of these foods like avocados and all that they promote collagen and uh skin elasticity so yo so your wrinkles will leave you know what i mean that's why people think they can't regenerate their skin they just like what's the use i'm going down anyway i'm going man if you got that mindset you might as well just hang around the cemetery and just wait for your time to pass you know what i'm saying but while you still live you still going to work you still doing your daily activities why not make your why not enhance your body and why i say are you ready you know what i'm saying a lot of people ain't ready so when it comes down to it, man, this is an important video. Make sure y'all hit the like button on this if y'all like the content. And y'all be blessed on walking that smoke.